Am I just supposed to sit here and take it while you guys beat me up? Donna. Mom, no. You just want to go through every little thing piece by piece and make me apologize for everything I've done wrong? That's not what we're saying, Mom. Let's try to not get Because we did a lot for you, and I don't think it's fair for you to do this to me. Mom, we're not trying to berate you. It's certainly what it feels like. Can I, I just want you to stop denying reality. Reality. Being that I hurt you? Hold yes. On. I don't want to hurt you, but if we want to keep having a relationship, you need to stop dismissing my experiences. Stop making comments about my lifestyle and my parenting. I cannot wait for you to do this. All because admitting that you fucked up is too hey, hard. Hey, look at me. Let's rephrase that. What, that she fucked up? Yes. Not excusing anything extreme or abusive, but have you heard the phrase, do the best you can until you know better, and then know better, do better, Maya Angelou. And we did the best we could. It is a lot more productive if we can acknowledge that things have changed. Like how the experts told us to lay you on your stomachs, and now you tell us to put them on their backs. Yeah. Here it comes. You guys can't make up your minds. There it is. Well, I'm a therapist, but that's frustrating, right, Donna? Yes, because now when I watch my grandson, she has to explain everything to me like I'm a bad parent. I never said you're a bad parent. Well, hold on. I, I mean, for you guys, it's not that Donna was being neglectful. I mean, for the most part, you were doing the best you could with the information you had, right? Uh, our views on parenting have changed. The research and the information has changed. I get it. So again, barring any abuse or trauma, Sarah, are you getting the validation that you're looking for if it's framed as your mother was trying her best, but things have changed? Yeah. I just want acknowledgement. Like, I can see how telling you to just get over it didn't really give you a safe space. I'm sorry that we weren't more patient with you. And Donna, it still hurts, but are you a little more receptive to seeing how some of the things that you did as a parent, even though you were trying your best, may have harmed your daughter if it's not phrased as, you fucked up? See, it's you that's been messing up. Come on. Donna! No. Stop it. I know that it is hard to hear how you may have harmed your child, but if you don't take ownership and learn and grow from that, you're going to continue to hurt them like you're doing now. Please. When you guard yourself by dismissing her experiences and being critical of her- Mom! I told myself I'm not even coming home for the holidays next year because this year was so bad. What are you talking about? Oh, um, I don't know why you're so set on breastfeeding. You don't have to make it so hard on yourself. I have never criticized you for using formula, so don't criticize me for wanting to make this work. Everyone was using formula back then. Oh, and how about you owe them a two-week notice? How can I trust someone who doesn't have the decency to give two weeks? Times have changed. What about the coy little comments you make like, Oh, you let them get up like that? When you were kids, you finished your plate before you got up from the table. Yeah, we're teaching them a different relationship. Okay. Okay, all right, hold up. This is going too far. Sorry. I, sorry. She's right. Everything is changing, and it just makes me feel like I did things wrong. Mom. <laughs> no, sorry. I was just saying that we've gone way over time.